Ladies and gentlemen, live via the ET phone drone, it's Oregon's Mac of all trades, Mr. Mac Dub. What up? Good evening, sir. How are you on Broken Radio? Oh, I'm doing good. You, you don't want to know? You're not wondering what the ET phone drone is? That's that's our sponsor. I, I, I'm actually was wondering, and I was going to ask you immediately if you did not provide me with the information about the ET phone drone. <laughs> so the ET phone drone, uh, you know, back in the '80s, there's these plastic. Uh, ET phones that you could talk into and uh, well we have our sponsor for this episode is actually a service that will take a drone and fly an ET phone anywhere in the United States if you want to make like a novelty phone call. Hey if you need I one I'll like... send one right out immediately. <laughs> Alright let's get down to it. Let's get down. Yes, and, for, and for people who are like you know kind of new to Broken Radio some of the iTunes listeners and folks that haven't been with us since way back in like 2011 this motherfucker right here is Mac Dub, one of the most rappinest rappers in the Pacific Northwest and otherwise. He's on to, what, almost 40 years of rapping? Didn't you come out of the womb? Oh my god. Yep. He came out of the womb rapping, years. I think. Yes, I did. <laughs> but no, man, we got we have some history actually on this show. Um, I was listening today and uh yeah way back in april on episode 18 uh we had your your telethon you know for the the mac dubathon we're trying to (laughs) we're trying to like raise your spirits after the horrible heart surgery craziness uh yeah and and, and, but you know it even goes back further than that because um you're on episode 13. oh what people weren't even born back then you know in episode 13 and here you are so you've been down with us for a long time not a mystery right (laughs) You know, Summer right. Jam clips, Fall Classic clips. We've had a bunch of stuff on there. I was kind of going through. Oh, day. you know what's so funny about that is I remember, I think we were, I think we were at a show and you brought your, uh, and you brought your little digital recorder and I yep. think I was buzzed up and I was talking wild. Oh, I it's remember. all there. It's all documented. Yeah. You can find it too on the internet. Yeah. 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 I'm, 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 I'm pretty good at getting buzzed and talking wild. <laughs> so. Wait, let's talk about this new album here. K-Mac Radio. Uh, which I actually did my due diligence and I sat down today while I was uh, trying to work at my normal human job, not the podcasting life. But yeah, man, it's super dope. I listened to it all. My only complaint is not with you. It's with Spotify because it went like halfway through your album and then it put on a Justin Bieber track and fucking threw me for a curve ball. And then I had to like log out of it and log back in to listen to the second half of the album, which isn't your fault. I don't know why they do you like that, because on the podcast, they don't do that. You just, it goes straight through with no ads. So that was crazy. I don't know if you've noticed that, but, and then I went over to YouTube and it was all good. YouTube was just fine. So wherever, what other outlets can people find K-Mac Radio right now if they want to hear that shit? My official response would be better than a Takashi 6 9 song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or anybody whose name starts with Lil. What about Lil Lane? Lil Lane, you know, he's that little rapper out of Eugene, Oregon. Lil Lane, if I ever see that motherfucker, Lil Lane. Oh, jeez. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we're talking, we got 17 tracks on here. It's almost an hour of music. I like the the constant thread of the uh, radio station. I loved hearing your kids on there, young and old. I, I liked hearing D's and everybody back together. Indo, you know, and everything was just great, man. It gave a good, um, for people that haven't heard Mac Dub before, very West Coast vibe, very, uh, uh, reminds me a lot of like DJ Quick sort of sound. Like, I'm sure that was maybe a big influence back in your day. But, Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. But what other influences Absolutely. do you think, I mean, that, that led to this now as you've been sure. rapping so, forever? Right, right. So, so the concept of the album was, you know, it was literally a throwback to, 1990s west coast rap and i always liked how they did the dj easy dick yeah you yeah. know with the snoop dog and the dog pound stuff. That. and yeah and they always just had just a little extra element that they would add to the songs so it wasn't just song silence song silence song silence and i, I didn't if i'm being honest i didn't go as deep into the radio show as I wanted to, I had to make um, I had to make a st- kind of a strategic decision at one point mm-hmm. where I, I was I was I put a lot of effort into the album, and I I, I I was starting to feel stressed out about getting it out, and so it was either go a little lighter on the radio side of the stuff or just go completely all in. We did a couple skits; they didn't sound 
as good as I wanted them to, so yeah. I dumped them off the album. So there was actually skit. There was some other funny little stuff going on. Uh, but I, I put my I put my head together with the team. We listened, we talked, and then we just decided that what was on there at the time was going to be enough. Um, so that was the decision I made. Now on the next one, if I do this again, um, I, I might do a little bit more on the radio show mm -hmm. as part of the album. But the album is absolutely a throwback to the music that many of us living on the West Coast who like rap and who like hip hop listen to growing up so you know snoop too short e40 i mean i could you know i could go on and on ice cube mac 10 dub c you know dog pound is a huge huge influence for me i've always loved dog pound yeah and i've just always been enamored by west coast beats some people like really grimy dark hard you know hard mm -hmm. beats which which is fine for me too i i've rocked plenty of beats like that but for this album i always wanted to do a just a straight up g-funk west coast beat album and that's what led me to this project you did a great job my only concern i have one concern there's another <laughs> there's a there's a k-mac radio out of mcminnville oregon and they play 24 hours of music how are you going to compete with that with your one hour of music that you have on we your album. are gonna we are gonna run up in there and we are gonna <laughs> commandeer the entire operation okay but they're there doing uh, a... hits from the 50s and 80s how are you gonna be able because yours has got the 90s vibe so i think that you might be able to like pull a takeover or some shit change is constant man so <laughs> you you know you either get in where you fit in or you fall behind so kmac radio and mcminnville you have been put on notice yeah get we're ready. not telling you we're not telling you when we're going to be there. We're not telling you who's going to be there, but we will be there. So be ready. With masks, because it's 2020 and everybody has masks. You won't even see what's yeah, we, coming. We, this is what we're going to do. We're going to take over this entire fucking radio station, but we don't want anybody to get sick. Oh. So we'll social distance, we'll wear our mask, and we will wash our hands when we get there and when we leave. Because I don't want put, anybody to get sick. Put your album on a 24-hour loop. So when people turn into K Mac, <laughs> just blow their fucking minds out their ears. Not to get too far off topic, but just so before I forget, because I I forget things very easily. Uh, you're talking about like skits and things and albums, and I thought you did a really good job of uh, uh, peppering in the transitions to where you know it wasn't jarring. It wasn't like a a four minute skit where somebody's going up to the store and buying a forty and then you know talking with the rain coming down. You know, or like come on, get to the get to the track. So I thought that everything had a good flow to it from beginning to end, except for Justin Bieber sticking his fucking chicken neck in there. <laughs> I, I had to make a strategic decision. And and this is, this is actually what it came down to at the end was do the people. So the first time you listen to the album, if the skits are in there and they're funny or, you know, something's kind of cool, then you're like, Oh, that's dope. I like how you added stuff, these different elements into the album. But how many times in to listen to an album do you want to hear those skits over and over again? Yeah, you're always skipping and that, them. You're, right. You got your so little, that's, mm -hmm. right. So that's what it came down to for me was if people are going to listen to this album, they're going to listen to it because they want to hear the beats and they want, they want to hear the lyrics. So let's just get to the beats and the lyrics. It's kind of like if you go out to dinner and they bring you some salad and bread, you're like, yeah, this salad is dope but I don't want to eat too much of this bread because I got this fat ass steak coming. You yeah, know what I mean? So, yeah. so we kind of pushed some of the style and the bread to the side and we brought the steaks out. <laughs> Maybe there'll be a bread, uh, a bread edition, like, you know, the Mac, the bakery, uh, bonus cuts. They might need that director's cut of the album at some point. Now this is called a segue in the business people. Oh, here Speaking we go. Speaking of a bakery yeah. or the bakery, you know, Baloo, uh, his, you know, Blake Schwab, his studio was the bakery many, many years ago. Oh, DJ Pork Knuckle? This, Mr. DJ. Yes. <laughs> shout out to DJ Pork and, Knuckle. Yeah, shout out DJ Pork Knuckle. <laughs> but this was interesting enough, and I will bring this all the way around because I'm pretty good at this, actually. Todd G used to record at the bakery back in the late, mid-90s, and him and I had a real-life rap beef. I mean, it was to the death, okay? Yeah. And... Fast forward 25 years later, and Todd G was the inspiration for me doing this album. Him and I, we talk a lot. He he retired from rap many years ago. Yeah, had a huge influence in you know in Oregon on the West Coast in hip hop, 
And he, 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 he said, Mac, he's like, I, I just really think you could hit him one more time and you could hit him hard and it'll be epic. And I did how we roll, which is, oh, the that's... Type, you know, the, the main single of course uh, video you know, out first... now, video out, uh, yeah. today. Yeah. yeah. So the, Go right, the first single on YouTube. The album, mm-hmm. Search yeah, it out. yeah. Yeah. How we roll on YouTube. It's M A C K D U B all one word, how we roll. Um, and you know, I did this song, I sent it to him. And you, you know how it is. If you've been doing something for long enough, music, whatever it is, you kind of know when you make something that's that's really dope. So I record the song. I send it to him. He calls me back five minutes later, and he says, bro, this is so dope. He's like, this is the dopest thing I've heard in so long out of Oregon. He's like, you have to do this album. And so literally, I did How We Roll. He said, do the album. And 17 tracks later, here we are. And, you know, for a 51 year old white guy, man, I, you know, I'm, I'm, pr- I'm, I'm, I'm not pretty proud. I'm really proud of yeah. the project. You um, knocked it out of the park, Willie Mays style. You, uh, you did your, the, you did it. Hell well. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Willie Mays, 2011. You yep. can find that one on Spotify as well. Exactly. Um, yeah. It was a lot of fun, man. I, you know, for, I just want to say this real quick and I won't get too deep into it. No, if you're listening to this, no matter what you love, no matter what you dream of, no matter what you want to do, do not let the fear of failure hold you back. Do what you love. Do what makes you happy. Have something that you look forward to doing when you're done doing what you have to do to survive on this planet, to make your house payment, to make your car payment, to be able to go out to eat. Whatever it is that you need to do to make money doesn't define who you are. So find something that you love to do and I think that you will be happier doing those type of things. And so this project for me was a labor of love because obviously I really love hip hop and rapping. And so, you know, that's why I made this album. And on the back end of that, what ends up happening is there's a lot of adulation, a lot of admiration and a lot of love that I have received doing this. Yeah, you put the energy out. Mm -hmm. Put the energy out there. Right, and then, yeah. Sure. Yeah, and then you get it back tenfold. Yep. It's kind of a it's kind of a funny thing with with life like that. If you if you can just get past the fear, like I said, and do what you love to do, there will be great rewards on the other side of it. And by the way, Broken Radio is a perfect example of this, right? You've been grinding on this for years. This is a labor of love for you. This is a way for you to have something to do, something to focus on, other than being a father. Being yeah, a man. professional, dealing with all of the stress and anxiety and the fear and the pain that comes along with being a human, right, on this planet, because life isn't easy. But you found something that you love to do. And by the way, I know this is recording, so you can use oh, this. This oh. is a this is this is a beautiful thing that you do, man. And you're really good at it. And I respect it. And I admire it. And 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 I have you know nothing but great things to say about you and your determination and your willingness to put yourself out there and do what you love to do. And as you well know, one of the hardest things about being creative is not getting the love that you think you deserve in terms of numbers and maybe the amount of people who tell you that you're great, right? So what we do is we live off of the love that we do get, right? And, And that's where I'm at with this project. And I think that's probably where you're at with this podcast but you're still breaking new ground all these years later, right? And making new connections and getting the podcast out there farther and growing it organically. And there's something to be said for that, man. And, 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 and so, you know, broken radio listeners, you know, I, Nate is a great guy. You've done a great job. I know it's going to continue. You've got a good team. You're dedicated to it. And it really shows, man. And you've come a long way, brother, man. Listen, thank you so much. Listen to the wise words of Will Weatherly out there. People just, like he's talking about he's putting down game and this is free like this is a free podcast coming into your ears and that's yeah the game is to be sold not told but true words were never spoken and thank you and i feel uh if i could reciprocate i feel exactly the same way i'm very fucking cynical when it comes to music especially music that my friends have even made to where it's like oh yeah you know you know how it is oh listen to this i do oh yeah it's good you gotta put on the you know friend face but no literally, right. literally this is it's polished it's dope it doesn't like it doesn't sound like it came out of eugene like somebody recorded in their closet you know on their fucking iphone 
Um, you know, <laughs> uh, I got a little disgusted when I would go to newer hip hop shows and everybody's just holding their phones up and rapping their lyrics off their phones over these trash beats and things. And I, you know, it makes you appreciate the craft that much more for people like you that have been out there for so long, being able to memorize your lyrics and hold on to these. Cause man, I could, I've been on some stages in my life where I was doing the rap thing for a while and trust me. You go blank up there. I've gone. I blanked out, Billy. Just not, I couldn't remember a damn thing. Where I remembered, you know, my lyrics like until I set foot on that stage. So some people have it and some people don't. And it takes a certain mental capacity. And Mac Dub has that shit. So you hear that? We have sirens going off in the studio right now. <laughs> All right. That means this is, we got one more question. Thank you for being yes, so sir. far. Thank you for being on episode eighty-six. We had Charlie Tuna at the beginning giving us a shout out. So you're within some good company here. Charlie Tuna from Jurassic 5. And we got him to say Beefer Bonker, which is a, 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 a saying that Mr. Lane made up with. And we're getting all these celebrities to say Beefer Bonker. Can you imagine oh, yeah. Charlie I'm, Tuna I'm saying that? The, I'm all up, yeah, I'm all up on the Beefer Bonker. <laughs> I love the Beefer Bonker. All right. Here's my final question. I ask this to all everybody I interview. I've interviewed millions of people. Eli yes, Porter, yes, yeah. uh, Eli Porter, and some other people. But anyway, uh, yeah, okay. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Oh, so if I was a superhero, my superpower, I'm just gonna go with comes off the top of my head, which would be just I could fly as high and as fast as I wanted to Ooh, anywhere. Get the fuck out of there. Just, just or come <laughs> swooping in. I, like I'm gone hey, and I'm back. I wish I had know? that power. Yesterday, uh, I was I was trying to like move a couch along the side of my house and I broke a window, and my wife just saw daggers and I just I wish I could fly. I wish I could fly to the moon when I was right putting that, that couch through a window. window. Right? Like, Shh, I'm out of here. I wouldn't have gotten any mm-hmm. trouble. That's a good superpower. Right out the window. That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. this is Mac Dub. Thank you so much for being on the show today. We're going to play right now. This is how we roll to sh- shut down this episode. So if you got any last words, man, anything you want to plug, go for it. The, the floor is yours. This is Mac Dub. And right now, you're listening to Broken Radio, the best hip hop podcast on this planet and any other planet in any universe that you can find anywhere. Yeah. Bump e- it. Even Uranus. All right. Even your hands. <laughs> All right. Peace, brother. It was good talking to you.